Welcome to the Game Ramble video review for Papers, Please, narrated by me, Dark Cloud. As always, the full text version of this review can be found on the Game Ramble website link below. Also, please keep in mind that this review was originally published in 2013. The TLDR is that Papers, Please is one of those titles that you have to play in order to truly appreciate it. It's hard to try to explain the concept to someone else without making it sound dull, but believe us, the game will suck you in. With some thought promoking moral dilemmas and multiple endings, you might find yourself coming back to this one again and again. Gameplay receives a 9 out of 10. Papers, Please is a truly unique and engaging experience. Graphics receives a 9 out of 10. The unique visual style matches the mood and setting of the game perfectly. Sound receives a 9 out of 10. The audio for the game is very sparse but quite fitting. The overall score for Papers, Please is 9 out of 10. And now for the full review. It's not every day that you encounter a game built as a dystopian document thriller, so our interest was immediately piqued by Papers, Please. The game opens with your character winning the Labour Lottery, earning him the privilege of manning a border checkpoint between the fictional countries of Kolekshia and Aristozga. It's not a glamorous job, but it provides housing for you and your family. Do well and you might even be able to afford food and heat, but mess up and you'll soon find how expendable you are. If the premise behind the game sounds depressing, it is because that is what it's meant to be. But don't let that deter you from playing. Playing a lowly immigration inspector is a bit of a shock after all the games that cast you in the role of a hero or savior, but it makes for a refreshing change of pace. Your primary purpose is to stamp approved or denied on the passports of the people who shuffle into your claustrophobic little post. It all starts very simple, as you only need to check that the person handing you the passport actually looks like their photo, and that the information on the passport is correct. The seemingly mundane task becomes tenser as the game progresses and additional responsibilities are piled on your plate. You get paid 5 credits for each person you process, search in your own interests and that of your family to get the job done as quickly as possible. Of course, there are penalties for rushing the job and missing discrepancies in the documents. Your first two mistakes per day will only get you a warning, but anything after that will dock your salary. Believe us, it's not a good feeling going home at the end of the day and not being able to afford food for your family because you missed a tiny mistake such as a forged stamp, inconsistent date or one of the many other variables you must cross-reference. As the rules change and the paperwork piles up, your desk becomes more cluttered, making it easier to miss things, which of course ramps up the pressure even more. After a few hours of playing the game, it can even start to feel like real work. The story mode takes place over the course of one month, resulting in about a 4-5 to five hour playthrough, depending on which one of the 20 odd endings you unlock. Neat twists are introduced daily to keep you on your toes, and the game has a plot that weaves through the daily grind, but we definitely do not want to spoil that for anyone. You'll encounter plenty of people with a sob story to back up their lack of proper documentation, but it's up to your discretion whether you help them out or not. Being the good guy might leave you with a starving family, while accepting bribes or detaining people who could simply have been denied entry could be very beneficial to you. You might even be able to afford the medicine your sick child needs, but you certainly won't feel proud of your actions. It's not all doom and gloom however, as there are rare moments of humour as well, mostly centred on a particular character that regularly shows up at your booth. We'd love to see more random events introduced, as replaying the game multiple times becomes a bit of a grind if you've already experienced most of the unique encounters. The visuals fit the cold, oppressive nature of the job you must do, but still manages to have a unique charm. The weary faces of the people who trudge past your booth are far from pretty, but at least they're easily distinguishable. The pressure and cluttered workspace can still result in you allowing a wanted criminal into the country because the memo is buried under a pile of documents. Weight discrepancies are particularly disturbing as you can scan a person to check for contraband which results in a nude photo popping up on your desk. This has to be done for gender verification as well but thankfully it's possible to toggle the nudity on or off. The audio is quite sparse with only a single, admittedly very catchy tune that plays at the conclusion of each day. There are some appropriately distorted sound effects, with our favourite being the muffled yell emitting from the powered loudspeaker when you click it to usher in the next hopeful. Overall, we found Papers, Please an engaging experience that captivated us from start to finish. A nice feature is the ability to continue the game from any day you have previously completed, which can be used to branch off into a new path without overwriting your previous progress. There's also an endless mode to unlock, where you can challenge your skills without worrying about the storyline. While this title is not fun in the traditional sense of the word, it definitely has to be experienced, and is a good example of how a simple concept can be expanded into something so much bigger than the sum of its parts. Papers, Please comes highly recommended, but don't blame us if you find yourself excitedly babbling to other people about the time we shot terrorists at the border posts, or shouting glory to a Soska in your sleep. Thanks for joining me for this Papers, Please PC review. 
Remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time.